What is your name? My name is Dimitro. My name is Ekaterina. Where do you come from? Odessa, Ukraine. I came from Russia. What do you study? I'm graduate of the International Relations Department. Now I'm uh, obtaining my master's degree at the International Economic Relations. Studies in European societies. Tell me something typical from your country that you enjoy. Make some sports, kinds of sports. I never drink vodka in my life. <laughs> so. How have the lives of the people changed in your country after the beginning of the war? We are now living in the time of change. Uh, which war? We are now trying to live as usual, making families, working, trying to pursue some ideas, some interests, every citizen of our country, living as usual. People from Russia are not the soldiers and we do not make a war. Would you consider your country as democratic? Uh, yes, we adopted many laws concerning the democracy. Also, we are pursuing the European Union integration. I will say yes, but uh, again, we have some um, difficulties with building a democratic regime. So, Is Ukraine autonomous from Russia? <laughs> so, uh, again, maybe you can be more concrete or something like that. We are autonomous uh, from Russia, not in economic relations. Politically, we are independent. Are the information spread in your country neutral or biased? Mostly neutral. All the channels and uh, media resources try to explain and try to show uh, facts which are also different. We have a big variety of social media and we can also choose what we want to watch. Official, of course, provides the really strong official position, uh, which maybe sometimes isn't really um, complete, I would say. Opposite media. What do you think about foreign press? Every country shows the information from every part of the world by their own opinion. Western information agencies trying to show uh, what is uh, going on in our country in order to make some uh, opinion, I think positive opinion, for, for their own citizens. It depends actually because you have a possibility to, um, to find any information you would love to um, Get. Should the European Union or the US intervene with political measures? Yes. And now we have many negotiations with the European leaders and we established some, uh, some agreements. Minsk agreement, which provides the safety and provides the demilitarization of this conflict. Yeah, maybe the uh, European Union has to do something, but uh, there's a big question, which exactly should they do? Why? Why sanctions against Russia, since Russia took active part trying to uh, stop this conflict? Will it be possible to find a compromise? Nowadays, I think that we must step forward to another one, kind of uh, making peace in uh, between the countries and in the world. And I think that the most uh, important is uh, to make it in diplomatic way during the negotiations between the countries. The compromise, of course, is possible and I hope it will be a compromise. Other ways are not really um, nice ways. <laughs>